Hey everyone, welcome to this quick Fusion 360 cam tip. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 2D radius toolpath on this solid model. So we need to begin by creating the geometry that we want to cut with our end mill. Come up to modify, select fill it, and we're going to be using a corner radius end mill that has a radius of 0.062. So the fillet size needs to be 0.062. Hit enter. You can see we now have a fillet that is 0.062. If you hop on the Lakeshore Carbide website, you can see this number here under their 1 16th radius corner rounder. The tool radius is 0.0625. So 0 0.062 will give ourselves about 5 thou of breathing room. And let's hop back into Fusion 360 and try and find this same tool in the built-in Fusion 360 tool library. Here in Fusion 360, we need to go into the Manufacturing Workspace, or the CAM Workspace, as I like to call it. We're going to create a new setup, new setup, and we want to make a solid model that has no stock on the sides or top. So I'm going to select Relative Size Box with zero stock on the top or sides. We're going to click on OK, and the toolpath that we're looking for is a 2D contour. Select 2D Contour from the drop-down menu. And now we need to select the tool we're going to be using. Click on Tool. Fusion 360 has built into the Sample Tools Inch tab under Milling and Radius Mill Filters. The correct tool here, a 0.062 inch radius mill. I'm gonna select that, hit Select, for our demo here, we'll say we're cutting some 6061, and in my mill, my big three axis cat 40, this would probably be an all right feed and speed. And you could probably even get away with that on your tour mock if you wanted. Let's go to passes, and let's maybe just set a few roughing passes here. So in the step over, I'm going to set 0 0.01 or 10 thou for a step over. Let's do two step overs. And then for the final pass, we'll set that to 10,000 as well. That's going to give us three passes in total, taking 10,000 each pass. Now we need to select the geometry. And when we're cutting with a corner radius end mill, we're going to select the bottom of the fillet here. Select that as your contour. Make sure that your arrow is pointed on the outside of the model. You don't want it to cut into the center of this. So make sure it's on the outside. Click OK. We'll generate our toolpath here. And you can see that we have three evenly spaced lines around the outside that's going to create that fillet. Let's go ahead and simulate it. Click on play here. You'll see it whittle away three different layers for the final pass. And that is how you make a corner radius end mill toolpath in Fusion 360.